<laughs> hey, good evening, meteorologist Doug Hetty. Wednesday evening actually turned out to be a uh, pretty good day for us today after all the showers and thunderstorms we had last night. Some heavy amounts of rain, a little bit of severe weather, not a lot across the area, and then uh, just partly mostly cloudy skies for us today. Temperature is pretty warm. Highs mainly into lower 80s across the region. And we do have chances for thunderstorms again for us tonight. And then again on Thursday, Thursday night, and into Friday. Let me go ahead and show you what is going on right now. Not too much, actually. I do think we'll see some scattered thunderstorms starting to pop up, mainly in southeastern Kansas as we work through uh, the evening hours. Most of these are going to be along and north of Interstate 44. Right now, not too much is going on. But you can see this on our future track forecast. Some scattered thunderstorms trying to pop up. Doesn't look like anything severe. Maybe a few random strong ones, and that should be just about it. Just some scattered thunderstorms through the overnight into Thursday morning. Then these will clear out. We'll see partly sunny skies. We're going to heat up once again all the way into the upper 80s for afternoon high. 67 in the morning, 80 by noon, high temp of 87. South winds, breezy again at 5 to 15. However, look at the front. It slides in. Here's tomorrow evening. Thunderstorms are going to fire along the front. Some of these could be strong, possibly severe. Main threat, gusty winds, also some large hail across the region. We're going to watch these as they blow up, work in during the evening hours. Pretty good batch of thunderstorms pushing through heavy amounts of rain, lasting into the overnight hours, even a few showers left over on Friday, and then much cooler temperatures as we work into Friday and really continuing into the weekend. But the weekend's going to clear out just fine. Let's drop south. Look at Matthew. It's a weaker hurricane now. Still a major hurricane, but a weaker hurricane. It's a Category 3. It has sustained winds at 120 miles per hour. It's moving northwest at 12 miles per hour, but it should intensify just a bit as it gets a little closer to Florida, especially by tomorrow evening. It's going to hit the Gulf Stream and uh, should become a Category 4 once again. We're stopping about 24 hours from now. It's very close to the eastern seaboard of the Florida Peninsula. Shouldn't affect Miami, I mean, at least a direct hit. But as it tracks northwest, the big question is, will it make landfall? Will it just ride up the coast? What is it going to do? It's going to be very close. Daytona Beach, Jacksonville. Now, here's the main key here. The strongest part of the hurricane is on the right side. All the coast is going to be on the left side of the hurricane. So that's good, but this is still a major hurricane. So something we're going to watch, and then it's going to take that right turn. But will it affect Charleston or North Carolina? Or will it kick right back out to sea and then make a loop back out in sea? So a lot of questions still with Matthew over the next couple days as that major hurricane starts to head toward the southeastern parts of the U.S. 87 tomorrow, 65 and cooler on Friday. Showers should be out by Friday night football. 72 on Saturday, 75 Sunday, 77 on Monday. And then we warm into lower 80s by the middle part of next week with our next chance for rain. Slight chance by about next Wednesday. Have a great evening. I'll update you later if we do get thunderstorms working in across the region.